Hey, good morning, and welcome back to Treeline Farms and our sheep farm. This is your host, Chris, and it's bright and early, 0600, or 0600, what does the O stand for? Oh my God, it's early. So today we have a couple of things that we'd like to start doing. We need to get some sheep put into our sheep pen here. We need to get them fed. We need to continue mowing, of course, and picking up the rows, as well as I want to get this plowed and this field plowed here where we got the sorghum out of last time. We're going to turn this also into a grass field. Grass, 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 grass. That's all we're going to be doing on here is just growing grass, making hay um, to feed the sheep. Hopefully we'll be... Uh, you know, making a return on our on our uh, investment really soon. We have the dryer going over here. Let's just check this. This is going to be loud, so I'll just shut up for a second. And we have twenty thousand some odd liters of of hay already dried. Um, Let's swing on over here. Uh, where's our pickup truck? Where is everything? Let's look in the garage. I'm not sure where I left it. Oh, it's in here. All right. We are going... To be heading down to the down to the down to Clever Motors and see about getting us see about getting us a uh, transport for our sheep and if we can get one on sale that'll be all the better. Uh, we need to talk to the university about getting the uh, students up here to help us again. And, uh, and you know, I think I might try to work out a deal with them to see if, if they can uh, supply the students. And, and I will help out with their class in farming as much as possible. Uh, get them working on our farm as well. So I'll see you down at the shop. And here we are down at Clever Motors, and we have us a trailer here. And I had mentioned the roller that we'd purchased in the last video. So let's get this truck backed up here and attach up to our our Flegel animal transport. Am I back far enough? Yes, I am. No hoses to hook up there. Make sure. All right. Now, let's go to our map. And the animal dealer, we're over here at the shop, right here. And our animal dealer is right here. Which is a nice, easy, it's just straight up the road. Let's let's hop in the truck here and head on out. And I called the school and they said that they would have students available if I needed them today. So we'll get working on that uh, when we get back to the farm. And uh, I'll see you in a few minutes. Oh, all over the road here. I spilled a little bit of my coffee and uh, <laughs> almost hit the almost hit the bridge embutment. So okay, so here we are at the animal dealer. Let's just see where we're going to need to pick these animals up. 
me just pull in here. I believe it's going to be right here to our right. Uh, probably should shut the truck off. Let's just walk in here and, and see what's going on. All right, I was just inside and talked to the people, and we will be picking them up just as I thought right over here. Let me get in the truck. And get this trailer turned around here. And we're going to start buying sheep. There we are. Let's get this open. The trailer open real quick. Just wanted to make sure that we were where we needed to be. There we go. And we are buying. We're going to buy the black Welsh mountain sheep. And I believe we're going to get, well, we'll get as many as we can. Looks like we can get 13. Oh, look at them in there. <laughs> sheep, 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 sheep. get this closed back up here and head on back to the farm we're gonna make this trip let's see we'll decide when we get back to the I think I'm gonna put these in the big sheep barn and then of course we're not gonna fill that up because we want them to start breeding and uh, And, uh, and then we'll fill up the other two pins with the sheep that have been bred and, and, you know, the baby sheep, the ewes, or I'm sorry, the lambs. And then once we start getting a surplus of lambs, we can also sell some of those lambs uh, back to the animal dealer. So that's something that we will also make money on. Uh, Losing it. Oh, we hit the sign. <laughs> oh, poor sheep. So I'll see you back at the farm. And here we are back at the farm. And as I said, we're going to put these sheep in this pen over here. We should have just went in and backed in right here, but and spin my head or swivel my head around here like an owl, and back in here if I can. Let's see where we are. Yeah, I think that'll do it, possibly. Maybe over a little more to the right, I think. Let's see if we can, there we go, 
get the livestock trailer unfolded. Here we are. Get the doors open. Let's just walk in here. Here they are. <laughs> Look at our sheep. And now we need to uh, let's just go out here and close this. Close the door. Close the door. There we go. And. Close the animal trailer. Now. We need to feed the sheep. So we'll hop, hop into our case here. Make sure we're not... Oh, we still have the wind rower attached. Not all the yeah, yeah. We're gonna need this wind rower because we have to we still have a field to row up. But for right now we're going to uh, we have to feed the sheep. To get them going. So we'll come out of here and over to our noisy contraption. And hop out here and see what's going on. Oh, we gotta come back for it, I think. Okay. There we go. That right, filled up quickly. Oh, you know what? It did not fill up. We still have the sorghum in here. We need to sell this sorghum. So here is a good job for the students. I'll be right back once we get one of the students up here and, and going. So I'll be right back with you. So I have one of the students uh, delivering the sorghum to the grain mill. They're going to give me a call because I talked to the grain mill and, and they went, they wanted me to come by there. So we're going to go to the animal dealer and get some more sheep. And, and then we'll swing by the grain mill and get that squared away. So, um... Fortunately, one of the students was just was available, and so we need to, uh, you know, we'll try to keep them as busy as possible. Uh, it looks like I'm going to have to get another tractor for the farm, really, because, you know, while if we're going to use more of the students, 
you know, we definitely need at least one more tractor. So we will uh, definitely have to look into that in the future. I'll see you when I get to the animal dealer. And here we are coming up on the animal dealer. This here on the right hand side. We'll swing in. Uh, I set up to be able to pay on, uh, you know, uh, using a, uh, an electronic transfer so we won't have to go in. We can just swing in here, pick up our 13 sheep, which will give us 26 in total. And we're going to continue getting the We're going to continue getting the uh, Black Mountain, um, uh, Black Welsh Mountain Sheep. Oh, look, a toy. Well, let's just go ahead and... Well, they give us a thousand dollars for finding that. Right on, right on. Uh, I'll fold this up. And now we need to get to the grain mill. So we're going to go out here and make a right. Oh, wait a minute. I don't think this is right. Well, let me, let me, I'll, I'll catch up with you when I get to the grain mill. Okay, so we're coming up on the grain mill. And there's our, our tractor. Let me just hop in here. And the student's inside. I just talked to him on the phone. And, uh, we'll pull in here and get this sorghum sold. Hey, we got eight, almost eighty-five hundred dollars for that. Um, let me uh, go in here and sort this out with with the grain mill people and and get my student back on the road here, and I'll be right back with you. All right, well, my student's back on the road, and we are. We're going to be getting back on the road here just momentarily. As soon as I turn this rig around, there we go. You can see him down there on my little GPS map and my, my tractor tracker. <laughs> uh, that he's on his way. Unfortunately, the green mill is actually on the way to our to our farm. And here you can see the see our student up here uh, on his way back. Let's just follow along behind him up here to see how he does, just to make sure these they're being safe on the road with the tractors and the equipment.
And where is he going to go? Yep, there we go. I was hoping he wasn't going to try to get out on the highway. So if you like my blog, my vlogs that we're doing here with the sheep and the and and farming, sheep farming, why don't you uh, go ahead and subscribe and like and and comment on the on the videos that we're posting, and uh, you know that'll help us out making more content in the future. I really appreciate everybody watching. Uh, and uh, you know, once we get him back here, we're gonna we're gonna have to get. Uh, oh, oh, what's he doing? There we go. There we go. He's hopefully just gonna pull over there. We're just gonna go on by with the sheep. There we go. All right. So here we are back at the farm with another load of sheep. And like I said, this will give us 26 sheep. And let's see if we can... Get back here. All right. We're not in position. Slide back into the truck here. It'd be nice if these mirrors were just a bit bigger because it's just so hard to back this thing up using the mirrors. There we go. Now we're now we're cooking with gas. Yeah. Okay. back into the truck here close this up we'll just get this parked over here out of the way somewhere for now uh, and it also looks like we're gonna have to get another building <laughs> or a lean-to or a shed or something like that so we can house you know we're starting to get a pretty good supply of equipment here you know, we got the you know the animal trailer we have the the Stroutman trailer. Oh no, it's starting to rain. I was hoping to get our student over there uh, rowing up that that grass. This is going to hopefully not going to be an issue. our noisy hay dryer. I think we're going to need a smaller tractor to get in and out of here. 
because this is pretty tight. Let's just see whether that gets us. Maybe a little more. We're definitely going to need this, is definitely going to take uh, a lot of hay and grass. So. this turned around yeah we're definitely gonna need a smaller tractor to do this in the future and we're gonna need either a skid loader or a forklift skid loader or a forklift to uh, pick up the bales of, of uh, wool that we get so go ahead and hopefully top them off there it is have a cover on here so let's just go ahead and just dump the, the rest into in the oops oops it was banged into our building that's not good There we go. And unfortunately, since the rain's coming down, I don't know if we're going to be able to get much more done here today. We got our first sheep. That's a good thing. Let's walk over here and look at them. Yeah, they're coming in and eating it up. Let's see. Make sure they have water. They have water to drink. And it's starting to get late in the day anyway, so we're about four o'clock. I think I might uh, make sure the students are all taken care of. And uh, And I might run on down here to Red's and have uh, and uh, have some dinner, a couple of Coke Colas, and um, and roll a few games. Let me get this trailer on. Uh, get this trailer disconnected from the truck. 
I'm going to take my student with me. Make sure that he knows he's appreciated for all the help he, he's been giving us on the farm and all the other students. And I think that's what I might do at the end of every day. The students that helped me out on the farm that day, I'll take them down either to Red's or uh, La Familia and buy them a nice dinner and Maybe slip them a little something on the little get a little cash on the side just to you know because they are students and you know college books don't grow on trees so here we are at Red's looks like Red isn't too busy today he's got a couple of customers not too many let's go ahead and slip on into a parking spot over here. And uh, go on and let Red know that we appreciate it. And this is actually the first time I've been into old Red Marble Bowl. So, all right, ladies and gentlemen, once again, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, make a comment. I, I really enjoy constructive criticism constructive criticism and uh, I'll see you next time on the sheep farm here at Treeline Farms and you're farming with Chris. Have a good day.